Good morning. I'm so excited about this video. Early Bullum Korean squash, nicknamed avocado squash, was one of my favorite squash plants that I had last year. At the end of the season, I saved some seeds. And I took one of the seeds during the winter time and planted the seed in this pot. Well, I got this beautiful Korean squash plant. It's kind of small, but it doesn't get much sun, so I'm surprised it got this big. I really enjoy this plant because it's like having zucchini on a vine, and they are fun to grow. Right now it has a male flower on it, no female flowers, so I was wondering if I was going to be getting any fruit. Looking at it, I was surprised at how many blossoms it had coming up. Lots of lots of little blossoms all over the stems of the plant. This plant was trying to survive to get getting as much sun as it could from this window. And there it was, looking at the plant, my first little baby female squash coming up. Very exciting since this is a hybrid plant, not knowing if I could grow it. It took some time and finally I got two squash flowers to bloom at the same time. One is a female. I'm always amazed at how large these flowers are. And here is a male flower. My luck was that they both grew at the same time. Now if I had been outside and I had all different kinds of squash plants I could pollinate from one squash plant to another. Last summer I pollinated from zucchini to Korean squash to delicata squash to spaghetti squash from spaghetti squash to zucchini squash. I would just run around finding males and I would pollinate all the female flowers. If I am trying to save seeds I would want to pollinate from the same plant or the same species like spaghetti squash with spaghetti squash. Then finally March 9th after I pollinated those two I got a pretty decent size Korean squash. I got a couple other squash but I never had blossoms at the same time. Okay after testing this out I'm going to be planting this summer some of these seeds along with the store-bought seeds. I really enjoyed this sweet tasting zucchini squash. When I mean sweet I mean sweeter than the regular zucchini. Okay let's get to how I saved my seeds. I waited till this Korean squash turned orange. It didn't turn orange till it had been sitting in my garage for quite some time. When I picked it, it was dark, dark green. Very hard to cut through, but once you get on the inside, it's easy to clean. The seeds were easy to scoop out. Lots of beautiful seeds. After I thoroughly rinse the seeds out and get them as clean as possible. I lay them out, this amount probably on a few paper plates, and let them dry. Alright, I wanted to show you these seeds because I um, saved these prematurely. And if you look at them, they're really flat. They don't look, they weren't mature enough and so these will not grow. They won't work. They're no good. They're bad seeds. Not good seeds. They were too young when I tried to dry them and so they're not viable. So I think it's important to try to get your seeds as mature as possible your fruit as mature as possible so you can save good seeds. Good seeds are nice and plump and you could tell the difference. Normally I would cut these 
into smaller pieces, but this shell is just so hard. Um, I'm going to put them in this spaghetti pot and steam them. There's water at the bottom. Use this as a steamer. And I'm going to steam this till I can stick a fork in it and it's nice and soft. And I'll tell you what it tastes like after I get that through. After I pulled the spaghetti squash out of the steamer, I was able to cut it into chunks. And as you see, you can poke it with a fork. It's nice and soft. Okay, now that I have it all ready to go, I can um, eat as, as is with butter, salt, and pepper. If I'm going to make something with it right away, I store it in the fridge. If not, it freezes really well. Um, I can use it to make muffins, breads, carrot cake. Oh yes, don't forget, I'm talking about my early bulum Korean squash that I ate like a zucchini at the beginning of the year. And now I'm eating it like a pumpkin at the end of the year. Whether all your plants are heirloom or hybrids, I think it's important that you save your seeds or experiment and learn how to save seeds. Every year I buy seeds for the new year and I also save my own seeds. So I have a good sized seed storage. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you liked it. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.